Okay, hello everyone. So for today's video, what I have prepared is I'm going to show you guys how to import a CC file that has test cases into my GR project. First things first, what I have open here in front of you is a new project that I've created. As you can see, there's only one story in here. And what you're going to need is a CC file, obviously. And in your CC file, you need three things. You're going to need first a test ID, a way to separate your test cases. So as you can see here, I have separated them by number. So all ones are associated with the first test case and two for the second and three for the third. So you're going to need a test ID. Second thing you're going to need is a summary. So all JIRA issues require a summary. This is something that you're going to need to be able to import your CC file. So I've also created a summary for the three test cases, as you can see here. And the third thing you're going to need is a test type. So I've also added a test type into my CSE file. So you're going to need three things here. The test ID, a unique way to identify your test, your test case and summary, as well as a test type. Okay, so when you've added these three things in, be sure to save it as a CSE file. And from here, what you're going to do are two things. Either you can go into apps, click on X-ray and head down to test case importer. Or I'm just going to head back here. If you have testing board over here, you can click on that as well in your project. And you can head down to test case importer here as well. But I've noted that when I first created this project, I didn't have this option show up here. I'm going to go with the first option. Go to apps, x-ray, head down to test case importer. And because we're working with a CSV file, we're going to click on CSV. So here you're going to choose the CSV file that you're going to import. And in my case, it's new data. And if you've already imported a CSV file previously, you can click on use an existing configuration file. But because I haven't, um, I'm not going to click on that. So click on next then. And for the project, it's example project two that I'm going to put all my test cases into this project. And if you want to create a test repository folders if needed, you can enable this option. But since I don't need it, I won't enable it. I'm going to click next. Now here is where you're going to map each of your fields. So for test ID, the unique way to identify your tests, I'm going to map it to issue ID. And as I said before, a summary is needed as well. So I'm going to map that to summary. As for description, you don't need it. But if you have made a description, you can add that in as well. As for test case, you can do that too. Reporter, you can add that into the reporter ID or ID name. Same for assignee, but what you, the three things that you do need is test ID, summary, and test type. So these things need to be there in your CC file. So as for the actual tests, as you can see in my CC, I have six steps for the first test case. So this is where all the steps are. Um, these are the actions, and I have the data and the expected result for each of my steps. Now, this is going into the second test case, and I have five steps here and the data. This is the action, the data, and the expected result. So this is how I've made my CC file into. So it's easier for me. So step is going to be action, because that's what the action is for each step. Data is going to be data, and expected result is going to be expected result. And I'm just going to click Begin Import. So what I've seen before is when I've done something incorrectly, if I've named something incorrect, so if I misspelled manual, or um, if I made some sort of mistake, you'll see that it says issues, that there is some sort of issue and it's not being imported successfully. So be sure that you are naming things correctly and that you are selecting the correct field so that it does give you something like this that it has imported successfully. So since everything is working all right, I'm going to click on three issues imported. So as you can see, the test cases have been made. So if I head down to my project, which was over here, and I go into backlog, so you can see here that it has been imported successfully. So just to show you guys the steps as well, I'm going to click on one of the test cases, access the company mailbox. It's going to load. So test type is manual, which I had selected in my CC file. And you can see that my 
steps have been added in as well, all six of them. It doesn't matter how many number, the number of steps that you have, it will import successfully if you followed the steps that I've shown. Anyways, it was a short video, but I hope this was helpful to you guys. And if you have any questions, um, be sure to comment down below. And thank you for watching.